Hello and welcome to F1 Chatterbox. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Welcome everybody to the post-race press conference after the 2022 FIA Formula One Japanese Grand Prix. We're going to be joined very shortly by our winner, Max Verstappen, but we will kick things off with the guys in second and third, Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc. Checo, let's start with you. Uh, what an afternoon. <laughs> um, your seventh second place of the year in the end. You had a great battle with Charles as well. Just how much did you enjoy those closing laps? In fact, before you say that, let's welcome our race winner and the 2022 FIA Formula One world champion, Max Verstappen. Max, check how we're going to come to you. Max, a uh, very warm welcome. Uh, many congratulations on both the win and the world title. Describe your emotions right now. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, of course, it's um, a great feeling. Um, of course, when I crossed the line, I didn't believe that uh, we would have won the title right there um, because I also didn't know if we were going to get full points or not. Um, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, great, great day. At the end, we could race um, and the race itself, we could manage really well with, uh, with the car, with the tires. So, of course, very happy to, to win here. But then, of course, I found out um, due to, of course, the five seconds as well um, of, of Charles um, that that would give me the title. But then it was yes, no. I think not everyone was 100% sure. At the end, it was. Um, so, yeah, very pleased. But it also makes you reflect on, on the whole season. And um, we had a lot of uh, very special moments, of course. But it's also very important to to look back at, you know, what the whole team has achieved. Um, and something that is, I think, pretty special. And it doesn't really happen that many times. And that's why I think you really have to um, enjoy the moment and, and really um, appreciate, you know, the whole team around you as well. You know, we are all traveling a lot and everyone is working very hard towards the, the, the same goal. And, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the, it will be very hard to try and replicate a season like this. Max, it's been a fantastic season and we're going to talk more about it in a moment. For now, can we just work through some of the key moments in the race? I mean, talk us through the original start. It was very close between you and Charles on the run to turn one. Yeah, I had a terrible start, um, but I already had terrible starts to the grid. So I knew it was not going to be uh, amazing and that's exactly what happened. But then I think the outside line into turn one, two is a little bit better because there's quite a bit of grip on the outside. So that's why I could break a little bit later. But uh, yeah, it was very close. But that's, I think, what people like to see. And can we get your thoughts on the conditions? Uh, what were they like when we stopped the race, equally restarting the race? Uh, that, that first lap, I think, was really the limit on, a, on an intermediate. But it kept on raining quite heavily at the time. So once uh, the, sa the, the safety car came out because of the crashes, uh, yeah, it was too wet. Even for an extreme tire, if you would have continued like that, it's impossible to, to drive. Um, and I'm, the, I'm in the lead, you know, the car's behind, you can't see anything. So, uh, yeah, it was very difficult and they made the right call. Then when they, the first time they tried to restart it, I think that was definitely not right um, because it basically just kept on raining harder and harder and there was no real sign of the track being dry or like dry enough to, to drive. Um, and I think once we actually got going, it was fine. There were a few rivers, but I mean, we very, very quickly switched from uh, extreme to, to an intermediate anyway. So that was definitely the, the right call. And final one for me on the race. Uh, you were utterly dominant, pulling out 27 seconds in 28 laps. Just how good was the car? Yeah, the car was very good, um, but it was also, you know, we were looking after the tires, I think, quite well. Uh, we could keep the front tires alive, which around here is quite tough with, on, on these intermediate tires. Um, and that's, yeah, basically, I think what gave me such a pace advantage, because in that first sector, if you have a bit more front grip, that helps a lot. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very enjoyable. Um, but anyway, this track... You know, in, the, in that kind of condition with the intermediates, it's also in the wet, uh, a really nice track to drive. Right, look, many congratulations to you. We'll come back to you later. Checo, coming to you now, for real, look, it's your 
seventh second place of the year. You had a great battle with Charles. Um, how much did you enjoy those closing laps? Yeah, it was uh, a nice battle uh, again, you know, and um, I think it was really tricky to overtake, you know, without the RS. Um, I had two places into 11 and out of, of 14 uh, on, on the way to 17 on the back straight. Um, but it, those places where, where, where Charles was actually strong, I could see that he was managing well well his race, his tires once he ran out of them. And uh, he was making it really hard, you know, so I knew that the only way I could get him was if if I push him into a mistake, you know, and, and um, yeah, towards the end, I thought there was one more lap left. So when, yeah, when, when he went off, I thought that was going to be the opportunity. Um, but yeah, it didn't happen, and and we 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 managed to get a, a good result for the team, and um, yeah, a great one too. And Chaco, just a word or two on on Max winning his second world title. Well, I think Max has done an incredible season. Um, a lot of of um, respect for for him, you know. Um, I feel I've said it before, you know. I don't feel like Red Bull had a dominant car. Um, to to have won the championship the way Max won it, you know. So I think he definitely pulled a gear or two compared to anyone else. Um, I think in the beginning I was a lot closer to him uh, once he got quite comfortable with the car, and I was more I was more uncomfortable with it. He was driving in another level compared to to everyone. You know, the races that he did uh, sometimes were were incredible, incredible to to watch. So yeah, a lot of respect for him. Very happy. Very happy for him and for my team. You know, it's a massive achievement to to have won the the championship here, uh, one two for Honda as well. So yeah, it's definitely a very special day for for the whole team. All right, thank you, Checo and Charles. Thanks for waiting. Um, great race by you. Can we start just by getting your reaction to the five second penalty after the race? Well, I don't have much to say. Um, yeah, I did a mistake, tried to minimize it, obviously, by trying to go straight. I, I was not aware this was the last lap, but um, five seconds penalty was, uh, yeah, was the right thing to do, to be honest. Uh, what was the Ferrari like to drive? You seemed very competitive after the restart and then dropped away again, a little bit like Singapore last weekend. Yeah, we were very fast for four or five laps, but unfortunately, the race was a bit longer than that, and, uh, and the front was just gone after four or five laps and after that was all about trying to survive until the end of the race the end of the race was extremely difficult obviously Checo was putting quite a bit of pressure behind and i was really really struggling with my um with both of my front tires so um yeah at the end i ended up making a mistake um but we were really really struggling today and can we just throw it even further back and just get your reaction to the original start and going side by side with max into turn one yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was close. Uh, it didn't last too long, but uh, um, but yeah, it was uh, it was nice. Okay, and if we could just get a few words from you on Max and his world title, please. Of course. Well, a huge congratulation to uh, to Max and to and to Red Bull. They've done an incredible job um, this year. Um, yeah, Max was uh, was has just been incredible, and it's a uh, it's a um, title fully deserved. Um, and on our side, we'll try to push uh, for the last four races uh, this season to improve as a team, and to hopefully put uh, more of a challenge next year. All right. Thank you, Charles. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get Max on his own in a minute. So. Right now, any questions for Checo or Charles, please? Scott Mitchell, man from the race. Um, this was actually to, to all three. If Max wants to chime in, please do. Just can we get your thoughts on what happened at the start of the race, the conditions? What, how much did it change from the reconnaissance laps to the actual start of the race with all the spray, poor visibility? And obviously, we've heard from various drivers about the fact that there was a recovery vehicle on track at one Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to our channel.